Hello and welcome to Farmer Talk. Tarmac trails are number two this time. Exmoor, starting Dulverton-ish, although actually Exbridge because it's so nice. Wiggle out the back of Dulverton, past Marsh Bridge, bridges feature in this one, up onto the moor and onto the ridge road, which is gorgeous. Proper moor, the southern flanks of Exmoor, but full on moor. I will no doubt endeavour to include the this is more moor joke. Nah, wasn't funny then, was it? Up to Sandy Way, down to Lanaka Bridge, very well known, Bridge Fest. Back out, up onto the moor, the B3223, turn right there, come back down to Delverton, back to Marsh Bridge. Little loop round. Future tours of Exmoor will, there's loads of roads around here that are just gorgeous, so we'll, uh, we'll get there but hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Let me know what you think. Here we go. Just come down to this interesting little junction here. And the only way you're gonna tell is that mirror. Quaint little a building there on its own little island, little house. But it brings us into this quite pleasant little village, Exbridge. And we're just, the farmer is in Devon, but as you will see from the sign on the right, as we pass the Anchor Inn, we're now in Somerset and going over the River Barl. There we go. Lovely bridge there old telephone box looking a bit sad. Past fly fishing on the right. Interestingly beautiful river on the right. The Baal is a particularly pretty river. It's quite shallow but proper river and interestingly for me up on the right here a few years ago they they here yeah, just see I'll slow down built this generating station here there now I yeah, hmm, this is about as near to political as farmer will get cannot for the life of me understand why we had to put a sign back there saying Dalton, home of the moor. Oh, yeah. um, why we had to put wind farms everywhere and just, in effect, do nothing on hydro, water power. Hmm. Oh, well. So yes, the plan to go up this ridge road, up onto the moor proper, and then loop round um, to Lanaka Bridge, and just above, we we'll sort of skirt round Whitty Pool, but we won't go into Whitty Pool this time. And then you can come back to Dulverton on the, uh, is it? The 3223, I think. There we are. Lovely old signs around here. And here's Delverton. So, playing fields to the right, wooden, very steep hill to the left. Set in a valley. Delverton, 20 years ago, was not like the Delverton it is today. New money has come in and it's virtually everywhere smartened up. There's now some really quite nice little restaurants. And it's a very popular and pleasant place. 
very pretty. So we've got number seven, dear old Lance there, Dulverton Pharmacy, following the footsteps. Exmoor National Park, Stags. Now we're going to go out the back here. and head out to Marsh Bridge. We're sort of scooting over the river and back again. This is quite a tight meander, wiggle, wiggle. I think wiggle is the word for here today. Um, hopefully okay this time. But on a busy, be warned, on a busy, a busy, in the summer, see this is jolly tight here. Um, traffic can get into a bit of a knot here. Parking, where do you put your carts? These were all built in well, horse days probably. Now the sun's just coming up here. Well the sun's up, I mean down here in the valley. That's the thing of valleys, you don't get the sunshine very early but it's peeping through here and you've got that magnificent, magnificent river to my left. And I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I can't think of an awful lot of better things to do ambling along here on this late spring morning with a river like that to your left the sun popping through. Wow. Works for farmer. The stiller, fabulous vibrancy to the leaves. They're, they're not really fully out yet, the trees. Not far off, but not fully. So they've still got that <clears throat> almost effervescent uh, green So still following the river. Uh, coming up on the left is Marsh, I believe it's Marsh Bridge. There's Marsh Bridge Cottage by it. That leads farmer to suspect it's Marsh Bridge. Now this is a really pretty. So I will just scoot round here slowly. Nobody there at the moment, so which is quite good. And then here's the bridge. It's quite a quaint little mix of stone and wrought iron and stuff. But Ridge Road beckons so I think we're climbing up the hill here or oh, off we go out of the valley and proceed we're sort of going I'm going well I could look at the sat nav right. okay maybe I will let's get that up and um, there we go compass yeah I was gonna say west West, southwest. South, south, southwest. Anyway, heading off up the hill here. <laughs> so, so you would, <laughs> you wouldn't choose to pedal up this. There's some quite interesting little wiggles just here. They're really, they're really rather tight, and I'm in the wrong gear. Change gear. There, badly. <laughs> You know, these are really, they're almost Cumbrian. I don't know why I've said that. There's quite a few Nagy switchbacks. Beautiful that they are in the uh, Lake District, Cumbria. But not as many here.
lot of beach around beach hedges. I love beach hedges. A, they look good. They're, they're sort of, um, they trim well, as you can see. Uh, but they hold, their, the leaves sort of die, but they hold them through the winter. So you've still got something. It's not quite as sparse. Weird. And we're back to Devon. So this is where a farmer gets a little confused. <laughs> He's Somerset. We're back in Devon. We're back in Devon. Oh, no, we're in Somerset. <laughs> Somerset is not far away. And uh, we hop between the two. So I think if you were to look on the map now, you would find that we are on the Ridge Road. And it's just starting. Basically a clue in the Ridge Road. And it's on top of a ridge and the views to the south to our left are wonderful right. when we get through here we come through over this cattle grid and then we come out onto the moor properly so the moor really is to our right um, and we're just going off to the left there and whole bunch of cattle. I'll just stand up here I think. There. Wow. So this is the ridge road he says and if I go to my left and if I can hold that angle there for a bit So we're still rising. I was saying Exmoor and Dartmoor, a bit of slow burns really when you, you think of beautiful places in the world and this, it, it doesn't hit uh, the newcomer, it doesn't hit you as beautiful, dramatic, wild, yes you probably don't realize just how wild it is and I mean genuinely you do not want to be up here with the light fading in the cloud and mist in the fog and mist it is a <laughs> you then find out how wild it is but just to the right here is a huge I'm gonna call it a headstone yeah. We'll have a look at that later. Um, of a master huntsman. I think it's 1800s is stamped on it. And as far as headstones go, I, my manitou at home can lift a good two and a half tons, maybe more. <laughs> he wouldn't lift that. So here we are, Exmoor. This is typical Exmoor. Just a lovely road to trundle down. Cattle, Exmoor ponies. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now, <laughs> I was saying about traffic. <laughs> there we are, we'll just amble through here. Oh, they look good, don't they? The farmer approves. Oh, look at those calves. Look at that one. Gorgeous. Suckling there. And then we've got some sheep. Cattle to the right, sheep to the left. Calling a farmer phrase again. 
farmer's inexperienced guide to Exmoor. Um, not being from around these parts and only living here 10 years, I am of course an alien. But I love ambling around these lanes. And, uh, and there's various loops. Here we go again, you see. It's hard to breathe inside the dome. I used to call Scooting, we're heading up into the moor a bit more, so we'll have a bit more moor, um, if you see what I mean. Yeah, it sort of makes sense. So we're going to go right here. We could go left. As I say, we're on the southern edge of the moor, so we could go left down, just down there is North Moulton, but we're not. Well, it's down there is North Moulton, I should say. Um, down the, that way is Molland Way, I'm getting confused. So we'll come along here to Sandy Way. and then go right and then we head over towards Lanaka Bridge which is a fairly well known there we go so Withypool as I said earlier we'll scoot around Withypool I think this is the sportsman pub middle of nowhere sportsman inn probably a very apt name but there's been some tales told there so now we're I'm doing a sort of loop round I've started in Dalton and if I can get my directions correct. So we're heading northeast now. So this is a little uh, self-designed farmer loop around Withypool. But we could go into Withypool. So here we could go right, not right, stay on the road. But we're going to go on to Landacre. 
and board down. Yeah. Now this is the valley over Lanacre and um, ah, we like this one. This is worthy of going slowly and trying not to wave. So there's the river just down there to our left. I'll try and stop waving my head around. I stand up here. It's an utterly gorgeous um, valley just to amble down into. <coughs> Pardon me. You just see the bridge down there in the distance. It's a pretty jolly well-known bridge. And uh, whether there'll be any recreational viewing there by to the people that there usually is. I love this um, little post box here. I always mean to be a photograph of it. I think I did once which is to the farm on the left, which is set back down. A the Baal proper river, as I say, quite shallow. That rains recently, so there'll be, there'll be some water there. Quite steep downhill here. The water looks magnificent. I'm using magnificent too much. It looks quite beautiful this morning. Ha! Still want to photograph that. So out of the valley. Straight into the sun. Not going to complain. So we've got a mile or two of this little lane as you come out the valley. I'll just stand up there. And uh, Let's just say it's quite nice. So we're probably coming round northeast a bit. Farmers slow TV. Horse drawn vehicles. I think we have to pull out the old didn't know horses could draw gag. Nah, it didn't work back then either. <laughs> now as Farmer confidently ambles down the hill here, he remembers we're heading towards a ford. And he also knows how much rain we had have had, uh, see, ex-Ford avoiding the Ford. Now, anybody with any brains would do that because it avoids the Ford of ex-Ford. Uh, that is very steep to the left. I hadn't really noticed that before. My, that is a good, not so steep just there, sorry, waving my head around, stop it, very steep drop off to the left, you wouldn't want to fall down there, and I can guarantee zero phone coverage down there, well I can't because I don't know, I bet it is. So, Ford. Shall we transit through the Ford? Let's see, shall we? Oh. Oh, do you think we can manage this? GS? Do you think? <laughs> yeah, I think we can. Right. 
let's I'll, I'll go and amble oh there's a sign there you see so we could go on to Exford Witty Pool down there but we're going to go right to Delverton there I go slow by this sign there's nothing behind me so you can see where we are so we could go down to Witty Pool which we've come round Homer's Cross and we tar steps up on the right. Very famous, uh, I think they're called Clapper Bridge. Um, very famous, very famous and pretty. It's only a bridge, mate. I know, but it's an attractive one. Attractive. No, it's not attractive, it's rugged. Rugged. It's hard to breathe inside the dome I used to call home Stuck in the world that I was crazy Change of 